the large diaphragm by nature was built for recording engineers. You know, engineers that were being told by the producer, get it juicy, large diaphragm, okay? You can, this is a great mic, this is a KSM 109. You can buy this microphone and you can put it at a guitar amp. I, I actually like this for my guitar amp. You know, whenever I do any uh, guitar amps, I use this because I want that juicy sound. Overheads, choirs, um, this might be good on a ukulele. Um, any real true instrument. Now, now this is a little different. This is not to be used. You can't speak into this mic. This is even more sensitive than these. So this is this really becomes an engineer's mic. We can talk about these a little bit later. Alan, Alan got ready, and I, I really want you guys to kind of hear these mics other than my voice. So what I thought I'd do is bring Alan up from the store here. Three things. Tell them what they're going to hear, let them hear it, and shut up. And confirm that they heard it. Okay, so I talked to you about the dynamic and how boomy it is. When he went to this mic, it just opened up. It became airy. Okay, let's, let's do that. Same light. Sorry, that's why we do this slow. Question. 56 and 86. 58 and 86. A very simple, low cost upgrade from the old school of, of dynamic to the new world of condenser. If you have a good voice like Alan does, you're going to hear that open up. His voice opened up to me. Now, when he went to this mic, it's going to sound just like this mic, only it's a super. So you won't hear this sound as good as this mic because it's a dynamic super. And I'm going to just cut to the chase because of time. But this mic won't sound this good, but some guys want this that are in loud bands and have feedback. And all of a sudden now, if I can't be heard, I don't care if this mic sounds better. i got to be heard. So the Beta 57, the Beta 58 are the better choice. But you just heard the big difference. An SM86 sounds better. So now let's play on this 86. Let's get this 86 over to this 87. So now what we're going to do is we've moved it toward dynamics are great. They're affordable, they last forever, but we like the condenser better. So we're going to have them sing in this SM86 down to this beta 87. And let's see if this sounds as good and the better of it you'll get. You're going to be a super. I don't 
don't want to leave you lonely You've got to make me change my mind Well, baby, I got your number Oh, and I know that you got mine Well, you know that I called you Oh, I called too many times Call me. Can't hear a difference? No. I like the first one better. Good voice. Thanks. Ooh. So, who, who liked the first mic better? Who liked the second mic better? Who didn't hear a difference? Okay. Was the second a higher frequency response? Yeah, something like that. Um, I, I'm not sure. It didn't. It didn't go as 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 well as I would have liked. But yet. That's also part of when you get into supers, you really have to think a little differently in how they're going to be used and also how they're going to be cued. And they do give you the opportunity, even though this is a flat demonstration, when you're really zoned in on a super, you can EQ it and turn it up, and you're going to get a louder opportunity out of this microphone. It, it didn't portray well in this demo, but what did was the condenser being live. When you have a super, they're problematic. A lot of guys, uh, Nick, my bass player, bless him, you know, he just wouldn't use it. He was just all over, you know, jumping and he couldn't get in front of it. If you could center on this mic, it's going to give you tremendous gain. And remember, too, this mic was invented about the time that we had wireless. So you're on a stand trying to get up to it. Let's see if we get that sound on. Oh, now turn my back around. Oh, give me a minute to say. Oh, now turn my back around. Does that matter? Yeah. yeah. Give me a minute to say. Oh, now turn my back around. Okay, did that sound a little better yeah. when he's on it? The demonstration I just did over here, too, is remember, when you do have a handheld wireless mic, it's really easy to stay on target. Okay? This microphone is sold more on a wireless handheld than wired. So we're kind of thinking outside the box here. We're thinking about, okay, this mic sounded really good, but it's not really working well when he's trying to get the acoustic guitar there. But think of it if you're going to go handheld wireless for a good singer. Okay? Does that make sense? You're going to handhold that mic, it's going to be a lot closer. Let's see if we can get you to compare these two. Well, give me one minute to say it. Oh, now turn my back around. Oh, oh. Well, give me one minute to say it. Oh, now turn my back around. Say 